Hi everybody, it's Dara and I'm really excited to bring you this video because many of us, many, many of us suffer from PMS. And that's not only mood swings, that's like a physical, it really is real. We feel bloated, we feel perhaps constipated, um, and that can make us cranky in itself. So this recipe is for the ladies, but it's also for the men who have a lady and they wanna help make her happy. This is going to be a, we're not gonna call it a PMS pate, because that's weird. We're going to call it a peaceful pate to combat PMS. And there's a lot of other things that we can do, um, but basically there's a chemical that happens in our body called prostaglandins. And so there are some natural remedies, and those include foods with omega-3 fatty acids, zinc, and magnesium. Did you ever wonder why you crave chocolate um, before your period? It's because chocolate contains a lot of magnesium. We're gonna to get to that in a little bit, but I do wanna introduce my friend Rochelle's chocolates. They're little heart-shaped chocolates called Lover. And so after you eat this pate, you get to enjoy, if you order some chocolate from her, uh, Lover chocolate. So that is for some magnesium and other wonderful benefits. Lover, link below. In the meantime, the ingredients that I have to create this pate are pumpkin seeds, which are high in zinc and magnesium. So we cover that with both. They're also, pumpkin seeds are amazing at getting rid of parasites, which I'm really sorry to tell everybody that perhaps 90% of Americans have some form of parasite. So doing a yearly cleanse, eating pumpkin seeds or pumpkin seed butter. Pumpkin seeds need to be soaked at minimum two hours to remove enzyme inhibitors so they're digested properly. Okay, so we have our pumpkin seeds, gorgeous. Zinc and magnesium. I have hemp seeds here, which will make the pate creamy. They're also really high in omega-3 fatty acids. Okay, so our, for our omega-3 fatty acids and for creaminess, I'm using hemp seeds. Definitely flax oil is a really good idea as well. And chia seeds are high in omega-3 fatty acids, but not perhaps for this pate. You could try it, you never know. And so we have that, we have lemon juice. Vitamin C is not something our bodies can, can um, produce, so we need to add vitamin C every day. So we have lemon juice, I have pink Himalayan salt. And then I'm going to add dill. Dill, has, the essential oils in dill are really good for our digestive system. So we wanna make sure our digestion is good. And I have parsley, which is freshens your whole body. And parsley has some other, parsley has um, potassium and vitamin A. The other thing that I'm adding, because it's supposedly a mood elevator, is sage. So I chopped up some fresh sage. I will blend all of this in my food processor and we will be serving it on little celery sticks. Feel free to serve it on romaine or flax crackers as a dip, as you wish. So please don't be afraid of having a food processor. They're really, really handy in the raw food world. And it's as simple as putting the carafe on, click, putting the blade in, click, and then the top. And I'll show you the top in a minute. So I have two cups of soaked pumpkin seeds. I have a half a cup of hemp. I'm just gonna use a tablespoon, perhaps of lemon, could be a little bit more, do it to taste. I will use, go easy on the salt. Um, we don't wanna bloat too much, but a little bit for taste, so half a teaspoon. You can add more, feel free. Some other things that are, I'm going, I'm going to just go ahead and add these ingredients. I will tell you how much, because that might be helpful. So I have a tablespoon of fresh sage. I will use, I'm going to blend up actually those ingredients and add this dill and this, the parsley towards the end so we can see pieces of green in it. So to put the top on, you simply click again and you can pulse or just press on. So it was funny, um, I can tell this already needs salt, but it was funny when I called my friend Renee Rubio, who woman's our site called More With Darrow, if you ever need any 
questions answered, there's a button that says ask Renee, ask me, you can ask me anything, and I put a lot of other videos and I blog regularly. I, I texted Renee, why am I feeling bloated and constipated and why is this happening before my period? What's the deal? And so she looked up prostaglandins and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to start combating this naturally. So thank you, Renee, for looking that up. And I have some other ideas for us ladies uh, to come. So in the meantime, this looks like it could have, I can taste it, but I already feel like it needs a little more salt. And it's funny, when, when you're about to have your period, you do crave, you crave the salty, you crave the sweet. So what better way to satisfy those things than with things like this that are totally nutrient dense and the chocolates, which are really good for you. Salt is fine. So this machine can be on for a while. So if you want to make it a very fine pate, which I recommend, go ahead and leave it on for a couple minutes, which I'm about to do. Okay, so I am seeing that it needs some more liquid to make it blend easier and finer. And I could add more lemon juice, which I just added a tablespoon or two. And I'm going to add maybe a quarter cup of water. I'll see how it goes. And I can add it as it's spinning. Yep, there we go. Okay, so now when we add water, so I've added a quarter cup of water, I'm adding another quarter cup of water, which means that we've diluted the flavor and basically that means the salt. So go ahead and add salt to taste, to your specifications, okay? Depends what you're serving it on. And then it's pretty much ready to add the dill. I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of fresh dill and the parsley. And it's gonna have beautiful herbs. It's gonna make us calm. We will know that we took care of ourselves and made something nurturing, and then we can get to our chocolate. Rochelle made a beautiful video with me on how to make your own chocolate. I highly recommend keeping this in the refrigerator in a glass container. It will stay up to five days. That way, if you need a little spoonful of something and you're on the go, it makes a great snack. And if you are um, wanted to make this look really nice and you're serving this to guests, let's say you have some friends over and, and men can eat this too, you can make a little bit of a little mound of it and then put the vegetables around and serve it as a little crudité. So I'm going to taste it and tell you how it is and mmm, delicious, really good, perfect. Two thumbs up. I hope I have nothing in my teeth, the dill, or what, do I? Okay, so here's the thing. When you are feeling icky, move your body. Just do a little jumping up and down on a rebounder or by yourself, like uh, jump up and down if you don't have a rebounder and get the chi flowing. Do something you like. Um, have some romantic activity. Uh, distract yourself from discomfort and know that taking some kind of pharmaceutical or over-the-counter medication is really not going to deal with the root, this, the, the, um, the issues. It will only suppress symptoms and then leave you with toxins in your body that your kidneys have to filter out. So we really want our kidneys clean. This will help us um, take care of everything, have some chocolate, and I'm going to make some other combating PMS um, tonics and recipes to come. So get your greens on, feel good, peace out, and I will see you soon. Mm -hmm.